This is the Ghost Recon Breakpoint First Person Mod. Developed by Tavrif, the creator of the Ghost Recon Wildlands First Person Mod. And the fact that I can actually say that, it still is getting me super excited. So I approached Tavrif a few months back on Nexus Mods, asking him how I'd go about making this mod myself. And as the months went by, I heard nothing back until all of a sudden we were on Discord and I was helping him test and tweak this mod for the past few weeks. While it's not perfect, it is, in my opinion, a lot of fun with friends and by yourself. So I'm going to leave you with a mission run I did that honestly is some of the best fun I've had in Ghost Recon Breakpoint in a very long time. And if you're on PC and you want to use this mod yourself, I have a setup guide at the end of the video. Don't worry, I got you covered. Like if you enjoyed, subscribe if you're new, but enough talk. We've got a tyrant to seek and destroy. Okay, let's get across the road. See that guy over there. Let's push up to these tents. Take a look inside. He was looking at me. Take the shot, man. Also looking at me. <laughs> Just checking here. Just going around the front of the Hey, I got a body over here. Okay. I think it's set. It is set. And you must be Brett. Sorry, Brett. Ooh, check out the moves on Brett. Okay, there was a guy on top of that. Oh, uh, there he is. He was sneaking in behind that satellite dish. Snake no more, my friend. Snake no more. I swear there was one on top of that roof as well, but let's move down. Oh, perimeter patrol. This guy's isolated. We can take him. No witnesses. Now they're suddenly alert. Not a damn thing. <laughs> there he is. 
guy here. Oh, we got a runner. Even at this point, there was no red flag on my head saying, where's the objective? There's nothing popping up. So I continue to clear the space, ignorant to the fact that there was nothing here to do with the mission. And I think maybe it was just because I was having too much fun with the first person mod. Let's try this side. Sniper? I've missed him. I totally missed that guy. them up you know those stems they basically cure everything they're amazing and it's just sugar water medical fact right there for you Watch for targets. i see you at this point i'd pretty much cleared everything from this base and i realized it was time to wake up and get on with the main mission at hand so we began the mission which would bring us to find and eventually kill silverback the man responsible for atrocities such as this. He comes around a lot taking people away who aren't pulling their weight. A few days later, we'll find photos of their corpses. Awesome. Thanks. Hi, <laughs> awesome. Cheers, mate. Send me the pics, would you? Settled on here. Yeah. Nice. No. Oh. No, 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 no. Oh. Yeah. Actually, no, that's... That'll work. Okay. Having narrowly avoided an Indiana Jones boulder situation with my helicopter... I did a bit of recon on Black Tiger Outpost from where I had landed and yeah, the weather was not great at this point so it was clear I needed to move in closer to get a better look. I gotta say, I'm just so glad that the parachute looks so good. I mean, I can see my toes. <laughs> I don't know why that brings me so much joy but it does. That's not weird, is it? Come on. That's not a bad landing. Six out of ten. Self-rated, but you know. Okay. Got the sun on my back here. Don't want to be creating a silhouette, so I'm gonna have to stay pretty low on this ridge. He's a rocketeer. He was a rocketeer. There's no silencer on this. No way to silence the sniper rifle, actually. This is the M93 or Setstava M93 sniper rifle. You get it from the Speak No Evil mission after taking care of Rosebud. It's got a hell of a sign to it. Okay, I'm gonna get down the hill because I know they're gonna be looking for me in this exact spot in the next 30 seconds. Okay, I'm not gonna engage. I'm just gonna keep moving. That means this road's clear and there's nobody watching the front so I can hopefully sneak up and get pretty close. One or two over there. Don't let them creep up on you. That's my guy. 
that's who I want. Let's see if I can pull these guys over here. I got you. Time to hide. So the guy I wanted did not get lured. He's lost interest. But I got this guy. So not all is lost. I've pulled somebody out of the base, isolated them, and put them in the dark. I gotta say, he is one of the best intel sources money can buy because he's given out intel as I'm putting bolts through his knees. Okay. Let's clear the helipad. There was two patrols down below, but I think I'm clear. I'm gonna give you one chance to tell me where Silverback is. No, I can't. I can't. He'll kill me. Oh, yeah? What do you think I'll do? Oh, uh, you don't understand, man. He's totally crazy. Have you seen the photos? Where is he? All right. <laughs> Batman? The province, think all good hope mounted. We figured out he's got a place there. Okay. Do you remember the line in The Dark Knight whenever Batman's beating the Joker in the interrogation room and he says, where is she? Yeah, well, be honest if you thought that's what it was, because that's what I thought it was for 11 years, so I had my world shattered recently. It's, where are they? Where are they? And in my head, I still hear, where is she? I don't know why my brain reprogrammed it. Someone said it's the Mandela effect, where you remember things how you think they should have been. But, uh, yeah. Please tell me I'm not alone. Please. I'm gonna grab this heli. Pop the sniper. Goodbye. And it looks like I'm heading down south. One thing that was great in Ghost Recon Wildlands was the classic helicopter controls. And I know a lot of people didn't like them, but whenever you saw the first person mod in action, you could be in the helicopter and you could look left and right, whereas they took it out of breakpoint, so they look left and right in the helicopter only, mind you, not in the boat or in cars or on bikes, just in the helicopter is now bound to this, and they didn't put the classic control option in, which is a real shame, but, you know, would have been nice. There's nothing that beats the golden hour. Just in general. In life, in games, when they get it right, this game definitely gets it right, I think. Daisy gets it pretty good as well. The new skyboxes in Daisy that just came out, the dawn, the dusk, all of that stuff is like really, really beautiful. Some people also call it the yeah, magic hour. I, oh, I thought I'd spot at me. That was too risky to be taking that, but I have nothing going on. you gotta live a little. Shit, that yeah, clearly I spoke too soon. With that incredible shot in my mind, I continued to clear this outpost of any remaining patrols before descending down to Moon Lake, where I would try and find my way into the Camp Weasel outpost, a Cold War era military base that is heavily defended. And with the sun setting fast, visibility was getting worse and worse. Yeah, that is the main entrance for sure. I can just about see one patrol there, but it's so dark, man. I'm gonna have to get closer. Just do your damn job. <sighs> Two. Shit. Nice and quiet.
look at that. Two snipers there. Any patrols? Three snipers? Squeeze. And now we got patrols coming our way. Just before we go, let's pop these two. I missed that second. He's gone into hiding. Ooh. Didn't see me. He's not popping up again. And we got patrols moving. Okay, we got to move here, I think. They'll be on this site in a few seconds, so... Better to misdirect and take a shot from a different angle. Yeah, let's grab this. Oh, baby. I'm on Moon Lake now. I'm gonna try and get an angle on that sniper nest. There he is. Can we get him? Whiff. If I can't hit a still target, I'm not taking a shot at that guy. Oh. I can hear guys. God, they're moving on me quite fast. Right, let's get across Moon Lake here. And let's avoid that campfire over there. Could be outcasts, could be wolves though. I don't want to mess with that right now. See what I mean? If you take a shot and it's loud, relocate ASAP. Just want to confirm that kill. Ooh. He went back. Man loves to snipe. Who can blame him? I can hear footsteps around here. Oh. One shot kill. Chef kiss. We got more. Two man. Okay, they were better, but do not be fooled. I cannot aim, okay? Sometimes when I'm trying the whiff, I hit the shots. So it's usually a mistake. Pushing in the main entrance of Camp Weasel, I continued to clear any wolf patrols I spotted without causing too much commotion. But if you've played wolf bases before, especially on extreme or advanced, you know that it being quiet is never a good thing. Something wasn't right. Where is everybody? This is really bizarre. This place should be crawling with wolves. You know, if you've played the likes of Camp Tiger, which is one of the other massive wolf bases, I actually think this one is more maze-like than that. I haven't a clue where I'm going. Some kind of boiler room. Sewage. Oh, shit. oh we've been spotted. We're not alone. No, no, we haven't been spotted. But he saw his mitt hit the deck. There he is. Red Beret. Not tactically smart. Fashionably smart though. Check at corners. Oh god. Oh. No. Nothing out here. Yeah, I'm unbinding my scroll. Recommend recon of immediate vicinity. Don't die, don't die. Oh, we gotta back out. We gotta stem. Let's suppress a wee bit. I don't know if suppression works in this, to be honest. But even if they walk through there. Ah, below. 
Thank God for this hundred round mag. Sneaking up on me. The cheek? Think we're in the clear? Nope. Let's push down here. Wait. Is that? <gasps> oh no! That's silver back. That's silver back. Oh. Oh, what? Oh my god. Well, I guess we got him. Is that is that mission accomplished? Okay, pausing right there. Future Deef, by the way. Hello. There's your mistake right there. Saying the cursed words, mission accomplished, before you've got out of the base. Let me tell you, if you relax in a wolf base, you're doing it wrong. And I'm gonna show you exactly why Whatever. No! <sighs> GG's. lesson learned only time will tell but if you're on pc and you enjoyed this and you want to use it yourself well the next part of this video is going to help with that okay there's only three things you need to get this up and running the first is a copy of ghost recon breakpoint the second is the cheat engine program and the third is the mod file we're going to go and download right now. I'm going to have every link you need in the description below, so don't worry about that. But the first thing I just want to point out is this only runs on the DirectX 11 version of Ghost Recon Breakpoint, not the Falcon version. So bear that in mind and let's head over to CheatEngine.org. This is one of two ways to get Cheat Engine installed, and this is where you can download the executable from Cheat Engine by clicking on this link right here. And that's going to give us this file. The other option is to head to the Cheat Engine GitHub, download the source code by going to the latest version link, and it will be at the bottom. And this is going to give you the option to compile Cheat Engine entirely from scratch. If you're wondering how to do that, just head back one page, scroll to the bottom, and you're going to see a section called Basic Build Instructions. This is going to show you how to compile it from scratch. And the point here is just to really stress that this is open source software. There's nothing malicious hiding in it. And the only difference between this and the executable is that the executable installer has optional offers for different types of software like AVG antivirus that it will offer to you to install a trial of, but you don't have to. You can just decline it and install only Cheat Engine. I'll leave a video below that shows you how to compile your own executable of Cheat Engine. But in the meantime, I'm just going to use the EXE I've downloaded from CheatEngine.org. So let's right click our Cheat Engine file and run it as an administrator. And we can see right away it says operation did not complete successfully because the file contains a virus or potentially unwanted software. It'll likely come up as either hack tools, which is what Cheat Engine uses to work properly with games, or Offer Core, which is part of the installer and is a set of optional software trials you do not have to install. So to get this installer running, we're going to type in virus in our start menu and head over to virus and threat protection. Right away, you can see the Offer Core stuff I was talking about, but don't worry about that. Just scroll down to virus and threat protection settings and switch off real time protection. Then head back to the installer right click it and run it as administrator. Now I noticed that I actually had to deactivate the Windows Defender real-time protection more than once before this worked. So just be patient with it. If you're having trouble, it will eventually work. Hit OK. And you're going to see right away, here are the offers. This is all what OfferCore is basically about. It has these optional offers, which you can decline and uncheck as you go through. You can hit skip all if you want as well. I'm going to actually just decline them individually just to see what I'm saying no to. After that, it's going to install Cheat Engine and only Cheat Engine. And there we have it installed. We can click finish and it's going to load up Cheat Engine right away. Switch your real time protection back on and let's get into the fun part. There's a fun part? <laughs> Now we can open up our cheat table file and it's going to open up cheat engine right away. But before we do anything in here, go into edit into settings and under general settings, check this option right here. What this will do is it will make sure the script attaches the breakpoint. So we're done in here. Hit OK. 
Next, click on this button here beside the top line where it says Mid by Tavrith. Thanks, Tavrith, by the way. If you want to give him a coffee, I've left his Buy Me a Coffee link in the description below. But once you do that and launch Ghost Recon Breakpoint, you're going to see this process window fill with Ghost Recon Breakpoints executable. That means that it's attached to the game and we can now use it in Ghost Recon Breakpoint. So let's hop over into the game. Now, all we need to do is hit Control, Shift and Zero the default hotkeys and whenever you see this just aim your gun and toggle ADS. When you toggle back that should be it working. So you can see here I'm adjusting the field of view using the numpad plus and minus buttons but we can change that and we can change the toggle script hotkey by right clicking on the first person field coming down to set change hotkey click on the hotkey right here then edit hotkey and you can clear this field then put in whatever hotkey combination you want to use. There's activate and deactivate signs and be sure to hit the apply button before hitting OK. And if you want to change the FOV hotkeys as well, it's the same technique. Just edit hotkey, clear it here, change it to whatever you want, then hit apply, OK and that's you good to go. Be sure to go up to file and save those changes. I don't know about you guys but I'm going to go play me some Ghost Recon Breakpoint. I'll see you next time. Bye.